Thank you so much. Oh my God, that's so crazy to hear baby boy. Like every time I just like think about, oh my God, I get so, I'm ridiculously excited. You know, I wish I could say that I had one of those hallmark moments in finding out that I was pregnant and I actually planned on having one. We were gonna, I was gonna take a pregnancy test when the clock struck midnight on New Year's Eve because that was like the day that definitely you'll be able to tell by then. I'm impatient um, and I couldn't wait and so I woke up two days before New Year's Eve and no makeup on, like crust all around my eyes. And I'm like, Bo, I can't wait. Like, I have to go do this right now. It was so anticlimactic, but the best <laughs> ever. I wish I had that story to be like, we found out at New Year's Eve. No, I can't even begin to explain how happy I am to have a boy. Like to be able to just say, I've experienced having both, I just think is such a, a magical thing and I'm really lucky and I'm really blessed to be in this situation. But like I was saying earlier, I just hear that boys love their moms, that they're just so ride or die for their moms. And I'm like kind of a needy person when it comes to the people that I'm closest to. And Hartford isn't needy for me. So I really can't wait to have a little boy be needy for me. <laughs> so Bo had me convinced that he didn't care either way. Like he loves being a girl dad. He brags about how he loves being a girl dad. And so I thought that he wanted to have another girl or just maybe didn't care, just a healthy baby. And obviously all we could ask for and hope for is a healthy baby. Um, but the second that we found out it was the boy. I've never seen him cry so hard. He spent the next week just looking at photos of the little blue box with the blue vans just on and off crying. I, he is so excited. It's so stereotypical. You know what I mean? The dad to just be so excited to get a little boy. I mean, I guess that's how I was when I found out I was having a girl. Yeah. yeah.